Hello YouTube, today I'm going to do a look back at Windows 7 2021 to see how usable it is in 2021. And I'll also do a brief look at some of the retro applications. So you can pretty much download any application like Chrome I can easily open. It has my personal info on there so I can't open that. Firefox, I mean, I can have work just fine. Like I can go to any website I want. And have it work just fine. It's more of a computer thing, but I can easily just go to any website I want with Firefox and Chrome works too. Internet Explorer is Microsoft Edge I don't have to set up, but even their Explorer isn't that bad. It's acting a little slow, but... As you can tell, I can easily just go in and play play a video just fine if I want to. Even their Explorer isn't that bad. Like, if I go in and open their Explorer, which is going to get shut down, by the way, in August... As you can tell here, I'm going to YouTube on our next Explorer. I mean, it's slow, of course, because you know it's our next Explorer. Yeah, it's not working. Never mind. But the point is, is that I can still go to any website and type in just fine. Now we're going to take a look at some of the vintage applications. So the first step is the Windows Media Center. It comes with music on here, which I find kind of funny, I guess you could say. And you can even get radio on here too, to install a radio tuner. As you can tell, there's some sample pictures here that I can look at. Boy, I love Windows 7. In case you're wondering why I'm doing a final review on it, it's because of the stiff. Well, I'll tell at the end of the video. I get some extras too, all of those are just games that come with the computer. And I can even go to record TV. Boy, this computer has a loudspeaker. I have this at like 10 and it's still going just fine. And it still sounds just just like me. And then we've got the Win Windows Media Player. It's just literally the exact same thing. This makes zero sense at all. And here we get the old Microsoft Office, which really isn't that special. I'm not going to go into that. Because Office 2013, but here's a little calculator. 
the old sticky notes program. As you can tell, there's a bunch of retro applications here, like the paint application. This is kind of neat. And of course, you get the getting started one. And of course, you can't forget Windows Live Movie Maker, which is like iMovie, but for Windows. Then we get Minesweeper, which is part of the Microsoft Entertainment Pack that I got discontinued with Windows 8. This is one of the best Windows versions ever, in my opinion. And the old start menu, as you can tell, is right here. It just looks so clean and fresh. And as you can tell, you get all the old applications that you would expect on here. Windows Live Messenger, though, that's not really that nostalgic. And I guess I'm going to open it. I'm sure that doesn't work anymore. Windows Live Mail, I doubt that works. That's basically all the nostalgia for Windows 7 that I, I will be bringing to you today. So, in case you're wondering why I'm doing the final review on Windows 7 now, it's because I'm asking for 2010-2012 MacBook Pro for Christmas. And those can actually be quite reliable because the 2010-2011 ones upgraded to High Sierra and 2012 ones up to Catalina. So, I'm asking for that for Christmas one of those for Christmas, uh, which will replace my PC, since even though this PC isn't always the most reliable one, and also this takes up a ton of space, and this isn't even a fully reliable machine, so I don't think it's worth keeping in here. That's why I'm doing final review on Windows 7. I'm sure I'll be coming back to this OS at some point. And I'll also be asking for a smartphone gimbal for Christmas, so that way if it tripod doesn't work with my video concept uh, my videos aren't going to be all over the place because I have a gimbal to keep it stable so please check out all the links and descriptions to my socials our channels and website and such like that please like subscribe and share and I will still be uploading normally normally when we might be up and we'll probably be opening one gift on Christmas Eve like a lot of families do. So I might do a video on that if that's anything techy. And I'll up a, and of course anything that I get in the morning the, of Christmas Day that I find interesting. Because we open at both morning and night. I'll do, I'll upload it on Friday and anything that, and that's for the Santa presents. And then for everybody else's presents, those will be open on Christmas night. So those will probably. So those videos on those presents will probably be uploaded on Saturday, but peace out.